I'm Andrew Capital, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to build a, an electric conductivity tester out of a battery, a plastic fork, and two wires with a light bulb. The first step is to take your plastic fork and take your battery and take the negative end of the battery and put it face up, or I guess towards the bottom end of the fork and then tape it to the fork. The next step is to break off the outer two prongs on the fork. The fork I'm using is not flexible, so the tines actually break off, but you could also use any f plastic fork and the tines would perhaps be more malleable or flexible. The next step is to take your light bulb and you need a piece of wire. This wire is single stranded so there's no uh, it's not braided, it's a single piece of wire and you want to take that wire and you want to cut it about 15 centimeters or actually maybe more like 30 centimeters long and you want one end of it to be stripped uh, a fair bit maybe uh, I don't know maybe that's about an inch and what you want to do is you want to take the long the, the end that's got that's stripped that extra bit and you want to wrap that around the light bulb. Okay, and you want to wrap it not just the part that's stripped but you also want to wrap a sort of an extra coil around and this can be a little tough to do particularly if the uh, with non-stranded wire so you may need to really sort of pull it tight and the idea is that once you've got it wrapped around, you want to make sure that the light bulb is, the outside of the, the light bulb is touching the exposed wire and that the wire kind of, or that the bulb is, can kind of spin in, up and down in that, in the wire, the coil of wire and that it's sort of secure so that it won't fall off if you jiggle it about. Okay, from there, you're going to attach the light bulb to the back end of the fork with not using tape, but just by wrapping the excess wire around the fork and battery, like so. Okay, and you want to keep wrapping until the other end of the wire reaches about the edge of one of the tines of the fork. Sort of like that. Okay, and you don't need to secure it yet, but it should be, there should be a little piece of the wire exposed below the tine of the fork. Okay. And up here you should see that without sort of taping it, just by sort of wrapping this wire, you're able to create a good hold so that you can pull this in any direction and the bulb won't fall off. Okay. The next step is to take your other piece of wire and you want to bend a little hook in the one end of the wire. Sort of like this. And if it's too tough to do by hand, you can always take wire cutters and you can take the flat end. You don't want to cut them, but you can take the flat end and create a hook that way. Okay, so it should look sort of like so. Now, that hook is going to sit, is going to catch 
on the inside part of the positive terminal for the battery. Okay? So you're going to end up taking this piece of wire, and the goal here is to put both of these pieces of wire on the tine and kind of hold them with your thumb so that the two ends are about the same distance away from the tines of the fork. Okay? And then once you've got it sort of in the position you want, you take another piece of tape and you wrap it around both wires to hold them in place. Okay? And then you'll see this wire is sort of exposed. It's not touching, so you want to sort of bend it so that it's touching. And because this is bendable, you can sort of manipulate it until you've got a good contact between the battery and the wire. And then you take this and you put it on a metal object and you test to see whether or not your battery, your tester is all connected correctly. And if it won't light up, that means there's some problem. It's not connected right. And the ways that you can adjust the connection are either by adjusting the bottom end, like so. You might have to twist it a little bit, play with it. Or by screwing the bulb down so that it touches that bottom part of the battery. Okay, and now test it again and eventually you'll get it to work. So that's how you create an electric conductivity tester using a fork, a battery, two wires, and a light bulb and a couple pieces of tape. Thanks very much.